Shot down by city council, plans to develop Lot J into a multi-million dollar entertainment complex were rejected late last night. The council needed 13 votes, basically a super majority, for the deal to become a reality, but it fell one vote short. Mayor Lenny Curry responded by posting this online. This sends a clear and negative message to economic development in our downtown and our city. Again, it's unfortunate, but Lot J will not happen. I look forward to continue working on all the needs of our city for all of our citizens. City Councilman Garrett Dennis joins us this morning. Councilman, thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So last week you voted in favor of moving this forward to last night. Last night you clearly changed your mind. Why? Well, last week I voted to, uh, to, to actually vote it out of committee so it can go to full council. Uh, that was an indicative of, uh, of my vote on last night. Is there, so it's interesting because we, we watched that the Jaguars and the developer did come to the table with some concessions. They, off, they were, you know, there was, a, there was an agreement to offer this trust fund, also an agreement about involving more local contractors. Was that not enough for you? I mean, was there one thing in particular you just said, I can't agree to this? Uh, you know, from the very start, I said that I supported the development. I think we all supported Lot J, but I, in good in, in good conscience, I could not vote for a deal that was bad for the taxpayers uh, as a whole. Uh, even though they made a few concessions for small businesses and and for the East Side community, but Jacksonville as a whole was footing the bill, and I just couldn't do it. So we heard uh, Council President Tommy Hazori basically blame this on the mayor. Uh, let's let's be honest here. Uh, you and the mayor have have butted heads uh, several times in the past. Was this so much about how this deal was negotiated at the beginning, um, or as much of what was in it? Uh, Council President Tommy Hazori. I mean, he showed great leadership in guiding us through this. Uh, you know, to be honest, this bad deal. But it was bad from the start. It was uh, it was cloaked in secrecy. Uh, this deal had been worked on in, uh, for two years, and we received a deal that heavily the, the taxpayers, not the city of Jacksonville. And uh, you know, pretty much that was the decision, um, overall decision on why we voted against it, because it, it again it was a bad deal for the city. So uh, we've had the mayor on uh, twice now, and I've asked him about Lot J, and each time he said, you know, that the Lot J development is important about re continuing to revitalize downtown Jacksonville. You know, he, he's, he's said that, listen, I'm concerned about the team leaving, and we want to keep the team here because it's good for the city. That said, are you concerned by voting against this that the team and Shad Khan could leave in the future? Well, that's always on the table for Shah Khan to leave. But, uh, you know, what does that say about uh, the Jaguars if one deal, one particular development uh, is their, you know, deciding factor to leave the city? Uh, do we, you know, moving forward, are we going to have to work on, uh, you know, some relationships, healing, uh, you know, because it was a hard fought battle. Uh, but again, I do not think this one deal uh, will be indicative if they're leaving or not. So Mark Lamping uh, he, with the Jaguars, obviously, he, he, he said, told us last night, obviously, that this deal is done. Lache's done. Time to turn the page on it. Uh, you know, he intimated that now it's about focusing on the shipyards. I mean, how long is there a timetable on that? I mean, there are so many issues associated with that cost, of course, and, and also environmental issues. I mean, what are we looking at? You know, as it was Lot J, we were talking about seven years. It could be even longer, couldn't it, with the shipyards? Uh, absolutely. And I was shocked to hear that uh, Mr. Lamping started talk about the shipyards when, you know, the big elephant in the room is the stadium. Uh, he said on the record uh, about a month ago that in 2023, they will be coming back to the city to talk about uh, renovating or either a brand new stadium before they'll talk about extending, uh, you know, uh, their lease. So in my opinion, I think we need to deal with the stadium before dealing with uh, the shipyards or any other development. Are you prepared for the fact that given that perhaps Shad Khan has a bad taste in his mouth, given what happened here, that it could be contentious when, it, when, when you're talking about, you know, supporting with taxpayer dollars any changes that need to be made to the stadium? Uh, again, uh, I think there's going to have to be an olive branch uh, extended on both sides. Uh, but this deal fell apart uh, because of the mayor. 
uh, no one else. I mean, he negotiated a bad deal and he brought it to the council. Um, and so we had to act at, uh, in the best interest of the taxpayers. And so, you know, I don't regret my vote and I don't think the other six who voted against this deal regret their vote. City Councilman Garrett Dennis joining us this morning on The Morning Show. Thank you for your time. Thank you for having me. And I do want to point out also, given the late hour last night, we were unable to get a hold of the mayor's office. You can bet that we will be looking for reaction from him as we continue to follow what happened last night.